Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So as you've probably seen on your timeline or probably even uh, if you follow some of the other Dokkan YouTubers, um, Dokkan decided for some reason, despite keeping all of Goku's details secret until I assumed they were going to unveil it all in the live stream, they made a classic fumble that they haven't done for a few years now where they decided to just put Goku and all of the details and everything in the data download that came out for me, I think it was like 3 a.m. when people started posting the details and like the early showcases and stuff. So I don't know why they used to do this all the time for like the big celebrations where they wouldn't reveal what it was going to be until the last minute, but then they would put all the information in the data download. So all the people who data mine the game obviously just see all the stuff there and then it gets reported by the community. So we kind of assumed that they weren't going to do that this time since they didn't bother to tweet out the details. We were expecting those yesterday or potentially today and that didn't happen, but they put it all in the data download. So yeah, LR Goku is obviously in the files, which means if you have access to like a private server or one of the things, you can see him in the game. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a like early showcase for him. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind everybody else because like I said, this came out at a ridiculous time in the morning for me. So you guys know me with the hero's agenda. I thought I'd do mine with a bit of a twist and we are going to show him off with the uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku because he is a pretty decent partner of him. I think they share four links um, and this Goku really benefits from having a slot one partner. And this guy is an absolute beast of a slot one unit. So I've got the translations up here. Shout out to Minato. These are the ones that he posted earlier on. I'm going to assume that they are correct. But his leader skill is GT Heroes or Full Power, 3 key and 170. And then the additional 30% is to Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans. So there's a pretty good leader skill, right? It covers all of GT Heroes, basically, for, 30, uh, for the full 200%. Um, and then full power, there's obviously a lot of uh, good options there. Um, his 12 key super raises defense for one turn, does colossal damage and greatly lowers attack. And then his 18 key raises defense for four turns, does mega colossal damage. Uh, his passive is three key attack and defense 150, key one with each key sphere acquired or plus one. So he gets two key uh, per orb and obviously three if they're in. He gets an additional 70% attack when performing a super. He gains a high chance to crit if it's an 18 key super. Uh, so it's pretty good, 50% crit rate built in. So when you actually pull this guy, uh, you probably want to go full additional. Because after receiving or evading an attack, he gets 70% attack within the same turn and 70% defense for three turns. So that is good because it means he does get that even if he dodges. Because he's an int unit, so even at 55% he's going to have five dodge, right? And then he has 20% damage reduction, and he gets an additional 70% defense and dam an extra 20% damage reduction as the first attacker in the turn. And then he has a standby that you can use after being attacked five times. So that's where the dodge part comes in, right? If he dodges, those attacks don't count. So you can see here, by picking up these three orbs, <laughs> two in and one rainbow, he goes to 23 key, or we can just do this and get the full 24. So... In slot 1 at the start, he has 277k on the first turn. But bear in mind, he's going to raise defense on his super attack. Then, once he's locked into being in slot 1, he gets an extra 70%. I should have checked the number, but I don't think it goes up until the turn starts. Um, and then after he receives an attack, he's going to get an extra 70% for 3 turns. So it'll be interesting to see what he looks like on the second turn here. Um, so this team build also gives the... Uh, original full power super saiyan 4 goku a bit of a chance to shine because now he has a really good new link partner and he's another unit that doesn't really want to go in slot one because he gets a lot of defense on super attack so there's the buff see there's a dodge which is bad for our active skill 12.7 on turn one here with no support that's the only problem i am running a full full power team so i can obviously get the full benefit for the limit breaker goku as well and one big problem with the full power team is that there just aren't really any good support units like there's that world tournament super saiyan 2 gohan but he only supports is i think it's, is it agl tech and physical so he doesn't support in otherwise he would have been a good option to bring on the team um i am using the goku family support memory as well um 
But yeah, you know, we get the additional there from uh, Full Power Goku, take him out. So we want to be able to get to the standby as quickly as possible, right? So I need to take as many hits as we can. Um, so I guess we do this for now. So yeah, we share four links with uh, Limit Breaker Goku, Super Saiyan Saiyan Raw, prepared for battle, fierce battle. So this guy's starting at 245k on the first turn. And uh, not great key on this turn, sadly. But fortunately, that's one of the great things about them giving these LRs these really good, like, extra key mechanics. Because, yeah, three orbs, uh, two int ones, and, yeah, we're getting the 18 key super. Now, obviously, by not being hit first, he doesn't get the big attack bonus. So, 8 million here on the first turn. We get the additional normal. Um, so how does he tank this, right? Because remember, we get additional defense and damage reduction in slot one here. Yeah, 50k. That's not too bad. Um, again, this is obviously not going to be his, his optimal situation. I just uh, really wanted an opportunity to uh, use full power, uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a, uh, a strong new link partner. Like, this team definitely is going to be runnable for these difficult events. Obviously, if you want to do the most crazy OP team or the most optimal build for this Goku, um, then you're probably not going to be running the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s. Um, obviously, this is pretty good for the LR Super Saiyan 4s from the 7-year anniversary as well. Because, you know, turn one they have guard, which is cool. And then after that, that's where you have to start being kind of careful about them defensively. So, them together as a rotation definitely could be very, very strong. Let me know down below if you want to see uh, that as a video. This is a great rotation for uh, keeping this full power Goku safe as well here. Because Cell is only healing in slot one. Um, and then, yeah, look at that. Three in orbs and we just get the 24 key. So... With a Goku on rotation, this Vegeta is now a support unit, although I think he only gives attack. And we are at, yes, yeah, 612 on turn two. That's with him getting hit on the first turn, so he gets the extra defensive buff for three turns. And then his defensive stack effect from his 18 key super is for four turns. So he's got 612k defense, and he has 20% damage reduction. And then remember, he's going to get another defensive buff on his super attack as well. And then obviously if he additionals, his 12 key super raises defense for one turn. So yeah, he is looking pretty strong. Look at this big boy turn from uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. 10 million attack thanks to the extra bit of attack support. Now unfortunately, and this is always going to be the problem with units that need to get hit, is this Goku is now going to kill Cell, which means he's not going to get hit at all this turn. So... Getting his standby in certain events, I feel like, could be an issue because he's a really strong unit himself. So, you know, you might end up in a lot of these situations killing the enemy way too quickly. Now, this turn, this guy's going to take four hits unless he dodges. So this should be good for uh, getting his standby fully built up. Watch full power, uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku here be the one that takes a super from Cell. Because he can super twice per turn. And both this Goku and the uh, Carnival Goku will be perfectly fine taking a super from this cell. But Limit Breaker Goku will take um, a pretty reasonable amount of damage. So 5.2 on the additional. Um, that gives us the extra defensive boost as well. Plus he's in slot 1. So I mean he can get close to a million defense without support. And then he has 20% damage reduction. And 40% if he's in slot 1. Which, uh, you know, he really did need to be a strong slot one unit. I said this in the, uh, like, breakdown videos that I've done or the preview videos. Uh, I was about to say, of course he's eating the super, but that was him doing an additional. Is he still going to be the one that eats the super, though? It is very possible. Oh my god, of course it is. Alright, well, he double supered, so he got his defense up twice. But how much is this going to do? Yeah, 230. I mean, I guess that's not the worst, but... <laughs> The AGL cell isn't exactly the uh, hardest hitting boss in the game. But. <laughs> but yeah, this Goku definitely seems very, very good. Now, bear in mind, obviously, his uh, when he becomes the full power Goku, that is when he becomes absolutely insane. And so I think my only immediate criticism for this guy is, depending how long it's going to take you to get him out, like five hits is not a lot, but... Obviously, it's very RNG-based, like, where those attacks are going to be. Like, again, here, for example, if we got, like, 
lucky with the additionals, then Goku's just going to kill Cell. So I guess what I could do is, yeah, let's do this and only get the 12 key super. Because then there's pretty much, I swear, there's surely no way that um, the tech full power Goku here doesn't kill Cell. Although he is going to heal. But, I mean, we're dropping a 6.4 on the 12 key. Because remember, he gets an extra 70% um, attack when performing a super. Um, he does get that buff from being hit for uh, uh, for one turn and then the defense is three turns. So not him, there's going to be a huge difference between him getting hit in slot one and not getting hit in slot one in terms of how much damage he's going to do. Um, so that is something you have to bear in mind. But again, he is kind of designed to be a slot one unit. But this is a problem that we see with units sometimes, like um, the Tech Carnival Goku has this same issue, right? Where these units that really, really good defensively, but then they get a lot of their extra attack if they get hit first, which is fine. But then when there's no attacks in slot one, it's kind of annoying, right? So let's go ahead and use the standby ability here. This animation is so good. So yeah, they're going to charge up, give Goku their power, and in comes Oob in order to uh, take the brunt of the attack. So Oob, uh, once you transform or exchange or standby into Oob, uh, he can't attack. He gets 300% defense, damage reduction of 10% with each type key sphere obtained. Guards all attacks when three type orbs are obtained for one turn. Uh, all allies three key and 70% defense for two turns. Uh, randomly changes a type of key spheres other than int to int. And he nullifies all unarmed super attacks. So let's do this. This sells super attacks in slot one so often. But I was going to say, watch this be the turn where he doesn't. And like super attacks limit breaker Goku, which would be really bad. So we grab these, uh, you charge up by obviously collecting these orbs. Oh, perfect. I think this is an unarmed super attack as well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at that. That's super cool. Great nullification um, animation there from uh, Oob. So yeah, this is one of those things, right? We know with the spirit bomb, if you use the standby early, you just get like a weaker version of the spirit bomb. So with this, if you use the active skill early, uh, or sorry, the standby, you recover 30% HP and you get three key for three turns. I'm assuming that's just him because it doesn't say all allies. But if you do it when it's fully charged, then he transforms into full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is obviously what we want. Now, he only standbys for four turns. So what that means is when he comes back the next time, you have to use it then, right? So if you haven't fully charged it, by the time he comes back, then you don't get to use it, basically. Um, so we need to be able to fully charge it on this turn, otherwise it's going to be unfortunate. Do this. It's going to be a lot of blues. Yeah, perfect. And there we go. Boom. All right. So we're going to tank fine in slot one because we have all our damage reduction and everything. We get our buffs. Yeah, 13.2 million linked up with the other full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku with no support. Like, that's really, really good. Like, again, bear in mind, this isn't supposed to be me showcasing this new Goku at his absolute peak. It's just me kind of trying him out and using him with the Limit Breaker Goku, which is uh, obviously what I <laughs> really wanted to do, even though he can be a liability. Um... Wait, so we are fully charged. Why can I not understand why? Okay, so it seems like apparently on Entropy, which is the private server thing that I use, apparently Goku is bugged and you can't use the standby transformation. So fortunately what you can do and have always been able to do with private server is I can just bring the transformed Goku like on the team already transformed. So it means we can take a look at what he does now. Um, unfortunately, it means we don't get the animation of him transforming, which is unfortunate, but... Um, obviously, you know, it's going to be in the full game soon, and then hopefully this will be fixed on this version as well. Um, so, once you transform into the the super full, uh, was it? Super full power Saiyan 4 is the weird official translation for some reason. 
Um, so his 12 key, raise attack and defense for one turn, colossal damage. Uh, 18 key, greatly raise attack for one turn, raise defense for four turns. He recovers 77% HP, so that's when you come out of the standby. You guard all attacks for one turn, and you get a guaranteed crit for three turns. Okay, yeah, so this guy's definitely full additional, right, if you get dupes for him. Um, key plus seven, attack and defense 200%. Additional two key when collecting in and rainbow orbs, and then an extra key for other type orbs. Uh, attack 150 when performing a super. Great chance to crit when it's an ultra super, so 70% crit chance on the 18 key super. Additional 59% attack and performs a crit when key is 24, so guaranteed crit at 24 key on a unit that just gets key so easily. That's crazy. Additional defense 77% for five turns after receiving an attack. Reduced damage received by 25%, and then an additional 77% and an extra 25% damage reduction as the first attacker in the turn. So in slot 1, not only is he the big beefy boy in terms of attack, he gets a bunch of extra defense and has 50% damage reduction. Which is insane, right? And he guards for the first turn as well, which, like, when you're getting him out, presumably near the end of the event, like, that's when it's getting its hardest, and then he just has guard for the turn. Which is crazy, right? So, linked up with the Limit Breaker Goku, we still have the same four links. Uh, he has 294k uh, at the start of the turn. But bear in mind, he's going to get all of these extra buffs and stuff when he actually gets hit. So, this should do, like, double digits, right? He's got 50% damage reduction. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then he does... Oh, just 20 million, you know, with four links active and no support, while taking no damage in slot one. Oh, look at that animation. That's so good. Oof, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and yeah, because we got 24 key, we get a guaranteed crit. So, yeah, this guy's actually insane. <laughs> um, now, obviously, people are going to see him, like, you know, it's already just looking at his details on paper, you can tell that he's pretty crazy. People are going to see these uh, clips and stuff and just straight away be like, oh, well, he's the new best unit in the game. But it'll be interesting to see the comparisons that people will start to draw with him and some of the other contenders for the best unit in the game. Because obviously, like, Bulma is a contender for best unit in the game and is also a ridiculous support unit. Uh, then you've got Piccolo, who whilst not being directly a support unit, he kind of does support the team with the way the giant form thing works. He does obviously also give extra key to the allies once he gets hit, and he works really well in slot one. Um, and then of course the GT duo are kind of the other... Um, oh my god, I just ima imagine the turn of like this guy with the GT duo when they go into their standby into the GT Vegeta, so he's giving 80% attack support to this Goku, who just dropped a 20 million attack stat with no support. Like, that is, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, he's gonna be crazy. And to be honest, that just gives the GT duo yet another, like, feather in their cap for being argued for being one of the best units in the game. So, now these two together are gonna be absolutely ridiculous. And also, Goku is on, uh, Power of Wishes, isn't he? Yeah, he's on Power of Wishes, which not only is the leader skill for the GT duo, so you can run them with this Goku on their team and then just run Bulma on the team. Like, surely that has to be the best team in the game now. Like, hands down, right? Ridiculous. So, yeah, let's see what we get. So you do get more links with you. So let's put these guys together. Um, but look at this. I mean, he's starting off at 19 key. And then just by picking up three type orbs, boom, we've got 24 key. So he's getting a guaranteed crit. Uh, he is at... 765 on turn two so you can see the huge difference once he gets hit and he actually gets those buffs that are going to be active for a couple of turns 765k with 50 percent damage reduction so that means if he was taking a super what would a super attack have to do to even do damage to him because a super attack would have to do like 800k after the 50% damage reduction. So, he, like, he's only taking damage from supers that do more than, like, 1.6 million. Unless they're from, like, a physical enemy. So, and that this is pre-super where he'll get extra defense. So, like, as long as he's not getting supered in slot one, uh, he potentially takes, like, does he, well, maybe he doesn't take double-digit damage from Sin. But, like, does he even take, like, 100k? Maybe 100k from, like, the hardest-hitting physical boss in the game. 
That's actually ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think down below. I might do a video of him versus uh, Physical Sin. Because, yeah, he just seems insane. 750k. And look at that KO screen as well. Look at that. I think we'll leave it there. But, yeah, he's insane. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, Going to be fun running the full um, Super Saiyan 4 teams with this guy around. So, uh, And then if Heroes this year really is Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. And the normal Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is getting his easy A. And he supports Giant 8 power. So, yeah, this is going to be wild. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.